in your paw. Phil. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Um, so today's video is currently on the floor because it's the only way I could get the dogs in the frame and this is the dog's channel. Um, but we thought we'd do a frequently asked questions video. This is going to go really well as you can see. Phil, Nico, we're going to be nice. Okay, you need to look at the camera as if you're answering these questions. Yeah. Okay, so we thought we'd do some frequently asked questions for today's video. Um, so the first question we get asked a lot, it is in some previous videos specifically related to it, but about Phil's tiny tail and his gigantic paw that just got me in the head. Lie down. You can sit up now. I need to move. Ah! Philip, down down thank you thank you be good like nico be good like nico um so his tiny tail so phil has a condition called hypothyroidism and he's on medication for it he will be on it for the rest of his life um and he goes for quarterly blood tests to check his thyroid levels thyroxine levels within his thyroid um so yes, that's why he's got hair loss on his tail. Um, it's It could grow back, but he's been on it for almost six months now and it hasn't grown back yet. So I, are you actually biting my rug now? No. Um, so I highly doubt that his tail is gonna come back, but that just makes him more of a teddy bear in our opinion. That's part of his features. It's just him, that's his tail. Um, so I'll insert a clip in case you've not noticed it in previous videos and this is all new to you but that is why Phil has uh, the tail that he has and that's also why we bath him a bit more regularly than Nico because his fur is just a different type of condition it's much coarser than Nico it's not as soft um, and more wiry but it holds on to dirt a lot more um, and he doesn't keep it as clean as what Nico does hello so yeah so that explains Phil's tiny tail um, Okay, so second question we always get asked is around YouTube and starting out and just about the channel in general. So me and Shane both work full time. YouTube started out as a hobby. It's getting to the point now where it could be a job. Um, we're almost at 300,000 subscribers as I'm filming this. We might already be there by the time this actually uploads once it's edited. Um, but yeah, so at 300,000 subscribers, it could be something that you could turn into a job. But at the moment, I'm on maternity leave, I go back to work next month and then Shane's, we can do shared maternity leave in the UK. So you do get 12 months, but I'm going back after six months and then Shane will take the final six months off. Um, and I guess that's given us a bit of a taster into the possibility of one of us being a YouTuber or um, staying at home and doing this. And obviously then we get more time with Amelia um, and we're not missing out on anything. Obviously with quarantine at the moment, well, Shane works from home at the moment. I usually work from home if I'm not in India or South Africa. Um, so we're here anyway, but nine to five, we are working. Um, so yes, yeah, so it would be nice if one of us does uh, have the opportunity to focus on YouTube. Uh, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. We've both got careers to think about as well. And, you know, future, how, how long will YouTube be around for before the next social media takes over it? And, you know, you've worked... 15 years to get your career to where it needs to be do you want to stop that there when you're just climbing starting to climb the ladder or getting to a point where you're comfortable I don't know so we've got lots to think about but the growth has been amazing for us and hopefully um it will all work out um so yeah in terms of tips for starting YouTube I would highly recommend it um I use YouTube more than I use Netflix more than I use Sky TV, all, all of the, um, Amazon Prime, all of that. I sit and watch uh, YouTube and like the late shows and everything else. I, I get all my news from YouTube and videos and the, the people I subscribe to that I know who upload on Monday, on a Tuesday, etc. I'm always waiting for their uploads. So at the moment, I do think YouTube is the top, certainly for me and for some of my friends, the top um, channel that you're, or yeah, channel that you would use. Um, and there is opportunity there. So if you're thinking about starting it, just do. But it is awkward being in front of a camera and talking to it. It takes some getting used to. I can do it, but I still cringe when I'm editing. Whereas Shane won't won't talk to a camera. He will let you film him, 
as you can see in some of the videos he's there but um he doesn't discuss or do like q and a's or anything like that with the camera he just can't do it i've tried many times to get him to um so the next question that we always get asked changing positions um, the next question we always get asked is about our comments and will they be disabled, which we think we thought might happen when Amelia started featuring our videos because um, it's happened to some other YouTubers that we know where the comments have been disabled. But then there's other people that I know that I subscribe to that have children in their videos quite frequently. They're like mummy vloggers and their comments have never been disabled. And so far ours haven't. So we're hopeful that ours will just stay put. Um, but we're not going to stop featuring the media in the videos um, and we'll just see we, we most of the videos have got like baby in the description and things like that so YouTube would be able to see it from the algorithm they haven't disabled our comments um, yeah so our comments haven't been disabled um, and we've been doing it six months now almost well Amelia's five months old so it's not happened yet so I doubt it's going to happen so fingers crossed it will stay as it is oh okay oh, oh okay let's do that then Double high five. Good boy, good boy. Oh, you're not quite in the frame. Hold on, wait there. There you go, right, ready? Show you two. Double, good boy. Double, good boy. Who's mama's little boy? Good boy. I didn't even have to say double that time. Good. That's a trick Phil can do. Nico can't really do it. She tries though. Double, double. Ah, oh, my back. Neeks, double. Come on, you can do it, double. Nico double! No, you're blocking Nico now, it's her turn. Go back here. Go away. Philip, come on. Camera hogger. Camera hogger. Sit. 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 Thank you. Nico, double. 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 Both, both paws. Come on. You can do it. Good girl. Pop. <gasps> Good girl! Yay! She's doing it. There's two paws. <gasps> Good girl. She doesn't do it that often, guys. That is a big deal. It's a very big deal. Good girl, good girl. Um, yeah, Phil knows more tricks than Nico, generally. She, I don't know if she's too, she, she knows what you want her to do, it's just she chooses not to do it, is what I think is. Um, so the next question we always get asked is around the pets and hair and the baby. Um, so Mia's napping at the moment, which is why she's not in this part, but I will insert a clip at the end because I did something really cute with her and Milo this morning. Um, I twinned them up with that outfit, so they were in matching outfits. It was really cute. Um, but yeah, so pet hair and the baby. Um, obviously, there is pet hair around the house. We do clean three times a day in terms of hoovering. I've got a robotic hoover that goes around. Um, so yeah, so the house is hoovered, but obviously there is pet hair. We've got three long-haired pets. Um, but I did watch an interesting documentary on Netflix called Babies. And um, I think it was in episode three, they talked about pet babies that grow up around pets, how um, they are likely to have, scientifically proven to have less allergies, not likely to have asthma or less likely to have asthma, um, and a few other bits. So um, in terms of allergies and everything, I think we would know by now if Amelia was allergic to pet hair or had any form of allergy to them. Um, and also just in general dust and what the pets bring in and if she's near them, it's just building up our own immune system naturally. So we're not gonna shy away from um, having pets or anything like that. It's ludicrous to think that you would do anything like that once you have a baby. These were your babies first. Um, so yeah, so yes, there is pet hair. Um, there is often pet hair on things that she touches and when she's now reaching for them. The problem I think I've got at the moment is now she grabs them and grabs their fur. So she doesn't know about pulling fur. She needs to learn that, which we're trying to teach at the moment. You might have seen that in some videos but also that she keeps like nuzzling them so she like opens her mouth and um, like tries to shake it and then eat their fur which is something obviously don't want her doing and um, so just trying to steer her away from that but she's like everything's so new to her at the minute she's obviously learning um stroke and everything and she's fascinated by them she is obsessed with milo milo is her favorite at the moment i think probably because he's her size um and then it used to be Nico that she was closest to or that she would stare the most at. But I think Phil has been a bit calmer around her in the last couple of weeks. And he's been more curious about her than Nico. Nico has been more guarding the house from the neighbourhood dogs because everyone's at home and not working. 
<laughs> suddenly there's a million dogs in their gardens that Nico can hear barking and has to talk back to. So she's constantly outside patrolling the grounds, um, letting the neighbourhood know who's boss, basically. Um, so yeah, so she hasn't been as close with me over the last couple of weeks, but it just changes so quickly. She changes every day and she learns something new every day, but then the dogs in general, one day they'll be fascinated by her, one day they'll be, huh, oh, there's a baby in the house, not so interested, but that's, it just goes up and down. Um, so yeah, so we'll see who is the favourite. I can't wait till she starts crawling because then she'll actually crawl to one of them and then you'll really know who's favourite at that point. And I think Nico, she, she does this like, um, what's it called, like an army roll, you know, where you crawl on your paws or whatever. I can't explain it very well. She did it in a recent video with Shane. Um, but I can just imagine her crawling next to Mia. Oh, I, I think she'll copy her and I think she'll, I think Nico, when, the minute Mia starts moving, that's when Nico will be interested. So yeah, so that's our questions. Um, if you do have any other questions or if you'd like to see more of these types of videos uh, where it's just sitting and talking, we don't do them very often, uh, please let us know in the comments below. Um, and yeah, if you do have any questions, let me know and I'll try to respond to all of the comments, um, at least for the first day when this video goes live. Once we publish another video, it's hard to keep on top of the previous comments. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys soon. Bye everyone. Hi guys. How's it going? How's it going? Matty Matty. The morning photo shoot time. And in order to get their attention, I just have to hold the gummy mitten behind the camera. And that's how we do it. How many matching sets do we have that we can dress you in? Could be a new thing. Look at his face. <laughs> Absolutely gutted. <laughs> Don't you got me pen? There you go. There you go.